Best Buy is complete garbage. I swear to God, for the last, what, eight years, I've been trying to pre-order games from there. And every single stinking time that I try to pre-order, it's always late. And after this situation with Hogwarts Legacy and the way my pre-order was handled, I'm completely done. I pre-ordered the Deluxe Edition from Best Buy because uh, GameStop essentially told me they were sold out. Uh, I don't know how you sell out of pre-orders, but the poor lady behind the desk was all like, oh, I guess we hit our limit on uh, how many pre-orders we can have with the PS5 version of Hogwarts Legacy. And I'm like, wait, what? So I had to go and get Best Buy, which on paper seemed like it was going to be okay because it came with a $10 gift card. I was going to get a $10 gift card to uh, to buy my purchase at Best Buy. Well, my greatest fear came to fruition, and that was I wouldn't get the game on time. And and I shared this across all of my social medias. You have Facebook, and uh, you also have my Twitter. I also made a post of it, kind of like a, uh, hey guys, I want to stream the game, but I don't have it. <laughs> I don't have the game. I even made a short talking about how I just kept getting the emails, you know, those those dreaded emails from Best Buy where it's, we're having a problem getting your order ready for pickup. And it's like, oh God, here we go. That probably means that it's either going to A, get canceled, or B, come five days late. Now, Best Buy has the worst customer service out of anything. You call, it's automated. You can't get a hold of anybody. Then when you get a hold of somebody, it's somebody that's not at the actual store location that you're asking about your pickup for. So they have zero clue if your stuff is even there or not. Um, the poor lady on that one, you know, bless her heart. She worked really hard to, you know, accommodate me. She was like, well, most locations get their inventory on Tuesdays. So it should be arriving any minute. And I'm like, ma'am, it's already like 8 p.m. <laughs> if my game is not there today when I was supposed to get it for the early access, I'm not going to get it. And she's like, oh, I'm, I'm very sorry to hear that. So I went on my social media and I shared, I'm very disappointed my order for Hogwarts was delayed by Best Buy because I finally got a message saying it was flat out delayed and they don't know when it's going to happen. And this was a screenshot of my email Oh, man, that is the absolute worst. And I've had that happen with consoles in the past. I've had it happen with games. It's there's, At this point, this is part of why I never pre-order anymore. And as much shit as people give GameStop, they never give me issues. Every time I pre-order from GameStop, it happens. Like, you know, I never get it canceled. But this was the first time GameStop told me they couldn't give me a pre-order because they hit their limit, which is why I dealt with, with Best Buy. And, you know... I kind of set myself up for roasting, honestly. Uh, if we're going to look at this, we're just going to laugh at myself and laugh at Best Buy real quick um, about what happened. So you can see first right off the bat, and I, I have him muted because sometimes he trolls me like this. Laugh out fucking loud digital rules. And I go, yeah, did your digital come with a $10 gift card? So... He got me, laugh out loud, digital rules. And a few other people told me, hey, why don't you just get digital, you know? my Oh, that sucks. My friend got it digital for PS5 and says it's real good. And I wanted to, um, apparently Amazon also delayed the basic edition, but I got the, de the, the deluxe, which is the main reason why I got it, uh, was because I wanted to play early access. And you can see I canceled and just bought the digital once people started mentioning, oh God, should have sent for it by Al. Thank you, Gannon. Um, Best Buy for games, but why? Same here. Went to Walmart after work. They had one copy, so I just canceled my Best Buy order. That was for digital. You might need more research on it. Wrong. Uh, I believe physical people also had access to the early access. But enough about that. Um, once I started to see people say, oh, you should have got a digital, the more I sat down and thought about it, I was like, why? Why did I even bother to try to get it physically? I, I like having the physical cases for my games. I really do. I'm, I'm like a shelf collector, if I'm going to be honest. I like having these on the shelves and stuff. And, and I wanted to have 
the physical of Hogwarts Legacy, but in all honesty, once you install it, like the disc is basically used to install, and then you have to go through the pain of putting it in, and it's like, all right, you know, sometimes it's handy to not have it. And with a game that I'm probably going to play as much as I'm going to play Hogwarts, I guess it's, it's you know, <laughs> it's more convenient to not have it. And a lot of people are giving me crap for uh, for pre-ordering from Best Buy. It's it's funny how many people have these bad experiences. You can see uh, that's crazy. I pre-ordered my copy February 6th at Best Buy. Received confirmation by 2 to pick it up. Had to cancel my pre-order on Amazon. Couldn't wait till March. I went digital specifically to avoid this. It's like one out of a dozen digital only games I own. That's the main reason I went digital for all my games. You know... People saying, go digital. <laughs> so I went digital, guys. And at this moment, I am making a stand. I am never going to use Best Buy again solely because I've had so many bad experiences. And I, and this seems like, you know, it's it's the norm for Best Buy. I, I even used to have Amazon Prime, and, I, and they used to, like, say, oh, you could play the game on launch day. It'll be shipped to you by launch. And... Never, ever, 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 ever had it on time. Now, we got some funny stuff on Facebook. Also, I have to wait till on Friday. until Friday. Could you switch it to pickup? It was pickup. Maybe the Rainbow Mob bombed the production line. <laughs> oh, man. And you can see people were upset. Unfortunately, that's just physical in general. And then this guy was busting my balls hardcore, uh, Eric Dittmar. He goes, unless the de de Deluxe Edition swag is a legit from Best Buy, why would you ever pre order from there? And I responded, I got a Best Buy rant to cook up. It'll make for good content. I got it because Deluxe Editions were sold out everywhere else for pre-orders. Very sorry. And he goes, what came with the hard Deluxe Edition? Why wouldn't you just get the digital? See, this is the thing, though, is, you know, people are kind of like, oh, what? Like, like, I get it. He's he he's basically just like grilling me for for getting the the deluxe physical. I didn't buy the physical because it came with swag. I bought the physical because I'm a I'm a collector at heart. I'm an old school collector at heart, and old dab old habits die hard, guys. Old habits die hard. I wanted to have the physical copy, but hindsight's twenty twenty, right? Uh, once I realized that the pre order was not coming, I went and bought the game. But yeah, I'm. I'm absolutely done with Best Buy. They're they're terrible for customer service. Getting any pre-orders on time is just fucking horrendous. So yeah, I'm I'm pulling a J.K. Rowling boycott on Best Buy, especially after this whole Hogwarts pre-order thing, where people still haven't even gotten some of their physical games. So I'm done. 